right, welcome to My Life, My Money. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you share this out. Make sure you describe. Guys, I don't know if you are aware yet, but I got a secret to tell you. I am not a stacker. I am not a silver stacker. Me, myself, I like to invest in different asset classes to give me options because the you know the world is always changing everything one day could be raining one day could be sunny one day could be a typhoon and each season in life I want to be prepared and have options to pick and choose what direction I want to go. Do I want to sell some silver or do I want to sell some stocks? Do I want to sell some guns or do I want to work more selling stuff on eBay? You never know. But one thing people need to do is let's think about worst case scenario. What would happen if you stack all the silver and find yourself in the hospital or dead and your family needs to need some money need some liquid money do the people in your family know what to do with silver could they find the silver at your house if they do find it do they know where can they turn this into cash that is a very good question to ask yourself because you may not be available at all times. You may be uh, incapacitated. You may can't move, can't talk, and your family needs some bills to pay. So it's always a good idea to have a plan so a responsible family member can know what to do with these silver, with with these pieces of gold, they'll know what to do in case they need to turn this into fiat currency. Also, it's a good idea that that key family member or friend, you know, friends could be family too. Sometimes friends could be closer than family. That family member also may need to have quick access to your bank account in a case of emergency or quick access to your stocks or any uh, uh, EQUIPT equities you have. Somehow that slipped my mind. I love this one. Saddam, this bomb is for you. Hell yeah. But yes, they need me to have access to these equities. They may have to move some cash around to pay the bills. They may have to move some cash around to get your ass out of jail. They may have to move some cash around to pay a medical bill. You never know what we will need this cash for. So it's always a good idea to make a backup plan in case you can't do these actions yourself. I recommend having a, watch this. I can't show you this. I can't show you the name of that. I reckon maybe having a book with all your passwords in it in a safe location. Only one person know about and make sure it's kind of hard to get to. So if you keep all your passwords on the Internet, you see how the Internet is going these days. Uh, people like to steal and scam. When I first came up around the Internet, people just wanted to crash your computer. Now, people want to take all your damn money from the Internet. So it may be a good idea to keep your passwords in a notebook at your house in a safe spot and tell a trusted, trusted family member. I got a lot of buffalo heads. So I got something different. Let's see. Ron Paul. We all know who Ron Paul is. This is a different one. Right here. Now, I'll go show you this one. I particularly don't like this guy. He, he killed a lot of people who were surrendering in the Civil War. Shot them to death. 
and, and he only did that to people who had this kind of color but that's on a different story but i still got the silver you know sometimes you can have stuff you don't even like people you still have it you just got overlooked can't get emotional about everything you know all right here's a quick question before we go i just kind of did my taxes well i didn't file them yet but I knew I had a healthy tax bill coming up. So I plan, I allocated $3,000 to help plan for my tax bill. I got a feeling with the, cost, with the cost of my CPA and how much I owe the federal government. I think my tax bill is gonna be $1,000. That leaves me with $2,000. What should I do with $2,000? Should I buy some more stocks or should I buy some more metals? You know. I can buy another ounce for $2,000. That'll look great in my collection. And also it increase my, um, it increase my, um, my goal for my silver. I had a, a subscriber, uh, what's his name? Vita flies. He always, he told me to try to have 12 months of income in gold and silver. That is kind of a lot of money especially in physical form but i may work my way up to it dollar at a time so guys leave a comment what should i spend that two thousand dollars on should i buy stocks or should i buy some more metals or should i buy a gun should i buy ammo should i buy property should i buy reits should i buy private reits should i buy cds it's a lot of hosts of things we could buy oh Hold on, you know we gotta talk about some guns a little bit. Right here, this is a Taurus TCP. You know, in the 2009, pocket pistols was the thing. And pocket pistols in 380. This is a pocket pistol 380, it's not loaded. Uh, well, I'll let you check, you can check yourself. This is a pocket pistol 380. It's made for a uh, very close up engagement. You cannot it's hard to shoot anything past 10 yards with this gun because the barrel's so short and the kick is so hard. As you can see, I used to carry this gun back in the day. That's why I sh uh, shaved this off so it could be real smooth against my skin. You know, because when you carry stuff, you don't want a big hunk of metal sticking into you. But yeah, Taurus PT, pocket pistols. They, uh, pocket pistols, not the thing anymore. People like uh, micro guns. And a micro gun ain't nothing but a small ass single stack, sometimes dumb stack, nine millimeter, you know. So ain't no, they trying to re reinvent the wheel all the time so people could buy more shit. But 2009, pocket guns was the things. Now it's micro pistols. Micro pistols is in between a pocket gun and a subcompact handgun. You know, it's that much, it's not that much difference, but it is what it is. But guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you always say God bless America and make sure you wait till my next video. We got good things to come over here. Y'all guys have a good day. Peace.